of a flag bearer that will usher the NDC and its presidential candidate hmm. into the Flagstaff House to once again govern this country right. in such a manner that will bring about participation, inclusivity, development, and jobs. So you are excited at Dr. Baumia One? I am very excited that the MPP establishment mm -hmm. went ahead to impose Dr. Baumia on their party. So it was an imposition, not that he no, won. it was an imposition. Right. It was clear that it was an imposition. Mm. Interesting. It was clear. No. Ask me, mm -hmm. and I will tell you, not a single contestant, starting with the ten, mm -hmm. not a single of the nine, and now the three who mm -hmm. joined him for the final race, right. did not complain about the establishment doing one thing mm -hmm. or the other against them. Right. As for their speeches post the elections, mm -hmm. it's a normal thing that party members do right on the spot mm -hmm. but the real analysis will be done as <laughs> we moved on okay but let me use this opportunity to say good morning to you <laughs> and good morning to my uh, colleague a very respected <laughs> right uh, uh, member of parliament mm. for anya so yeah. very dynamic mm. very hardworking, mm. and very committed mm. he's very committed to his party yeah. that no doubt about that mm. and you hardly can can say anything ill about him. About, about, about him. That's very, these are right. really fine brains mm, mm. that they have in their in their party, and possibly in future, yeah. if they don't get injected along the line. <laughs> uh, but I doubt it. You doubt it. Uh, he would be a fine a fine leader mm. one day. I okay. would only urge him to keep it up. Okay. But, so let me let me then in, introduce my next guest this morning, the member of parliament for Anya Soutum. I mean, I used to be in his constituency till I had to move to the Amasaman constituency now. Doc, welcome. Thank you. Uh, how, how has it been for you from Saturday? Well, let me also um, say a good morning mm -hmm. uh, to our viewers. Uh, in fact, I meet a lot of people who. Uh, claim they saw me on this program so let me say hello to everybody definitely uh, let me also um, at this point uh, wish the entire MPP fraternity uh, a congratulations mm. uh, and, and and in fact let me say that uh, I'm, I'm deeply uh, excited about the way forward mm -hmm. uh, there's a clear direction of what the party uh, has decided on mm -hmm. and by that I mean what the grassroots the delegates have decided on mm -hmm. and and uh, to wish a new flag bearer a big congratulations mm -hmm. and and to as it is also commit uh, to fully work tirelessly mm -hmm. uh, to ensure that uh, we maintain right power and do all possible things that are necessary mm -hmm. to stay the course and and i believe that uh within the next foreseeable six months or so mm -hmm. uh, we will have a feel of how dr baumia will be making his decisions uh, because I'm very sure uh, that the Saturday marked a very defining moment within the party where, uh, in all honesty, there will be somewhat of a departure from the reign of Nanado Dankwa Kufuado. Right. I mean, that is one of the things that happens. Mm -hmm. and. The entire fraternity will now be drawing more towards the vice president now, and now our flag bearer, mm -hmm. uh, and 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 to try and execute mm -hmm. things in the way and manner in which he uh, prefers. Okay, uh, because he is now the front runner for the party, literally, and and the leader 
of the party, mm -hmm. you know, to a large extent. So, so it's very exciting. Yeah. It's a transitionary period, and and I also need to say that uh, it's a time for us to all reflect uh, whether we were for or against, uh, whether we weren't sure of who was going to take the lead. Now that things are very clear, it's a reflective process and moment and a transition uh, to help all of us uh, do the needful thing uh, and to see how we can, as it is, uh, uh, rebrand mm -hmm. uh, as a party and then uh, deliver more for the Ghanaian voters or the Ghanaian people. Mm. So it's, it's exciting. <coughs> uh, and there's been many lessons. Right. Uh, I must say, whilst I'm on the floor, um, in terms of the election outcome, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, in, 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 there, there were surprises. Right. I mean, uh, I, I, for instance, was surprised uh, in my own constituency mm -hmm. uh, within the Greater Accra region. Um, you know, when Ken, you know, he won your constituency. Yes, and 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 you know. Um, it, so, so there's been surprises. Right. Some places like Kaswa, mm -hmm. you know, where I, I, I you East. know, yeah. was was uh, you know our majority leader's constituency. Mm -hmm. So, so there's been some surprises. Mm. But I, I think through it all, uh, what matters is is the fact that uh, we we need a somber reflection mm. uh, so that we can be very laser focused mm. on how we win. <laughs> maintain power. I'm of the opinion and, and, and that remains for another debate. Right. That in Africa governance grinds slowly. And and I, I think we all know in the world mm -hmm. New Yorkers walk very fast, Ghanaians we walk slow. And 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 I am of the opinion that our four year terms are too short for Africa. Mm. And, and I've always been of the opinion that maybe six-year terms uh, might be much better okay. so that any president can do and do very well. Mm -hmm. And then it also reduces the expenditure on just campaigning all the time. And, and, and on that note, I think that Ghanaians can measure us far better if we get the 12-year stretch. Uh, in that sense, that's like almost like a six-year, six-year. Six uh, and, and, and I've come to believe in the fact that whether we like it or not, either because of our cultural background, mm -hmm. uh, Africans, our four-year mandates are too short for us. Okay. And, and I think that uh, if Ghanaians would afford us or give us that additional opportunity, mm -hmm. the one more term, uh, we can fully complete a lot of the things we've done. Uh, fortunately for the NDC, we've actually done many e-blocks that were left mm. and also touched on many uh, projects mm -hmm. uh, that, you know, shows that we've maintained or we've continued. Mm -hmm. I can cite even, as we all know, the Amasama and Pokwasi interchange, right. which is a tussle between whether the NDC, mm -hmm. you know, started it or the MPP, right. but invariably, mm -hmm. we know that, you know, some amendments were made to that project, but at the end of the day, we continued it. Okay. So, so I'm, 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 I'm using this opportunity mm -hmm. to beg Ghanaians uh, to consider the fact that continuity will help Africa okay. and will help Ghana. Okay. And any time we do this change of governance, we we rather dial back, mm. and, 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 and that is what I'm hoping for. <laughs> okay, yeah. so let me come to you. Talking about Kennedy Japan's performance, mm. I mean, he promised a showdown. Did he, did he give a showdown from, from where you say? Well, uh, I must say that, yes, he, 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 he really exhibited his showdown, mm -hmm. and his performance in such a short time you know, uh, Kennedy chairs a committee that I'm a member of. Right. And so I had opportunity to get into him and to know 
the timelines of his decision mm -hmm. to go into this this race and i believe that possibly if he had taken a decision much earlier if, and participated as a presidential hopeful mm -hmm. during the internal uh, reorg reorganization at the base level right the police station the electoral areas and the constituency executive elections mm -hmm. period mm -hmm. maybe uh, with the absence of uh, alan kojo uh, mm -hmm. he could have taken the lead mm -hmm. because it is clearly true that even the mpp itself is unsatisfied with the performance of Nanado Danko Akufuado mm. and Dr. Mohamedou Bahoumia. How so? So because as for the president, Nanado Danko Akufuado, right from the word go when he was elected a flag bearer for the first elections of 2008, mm -hmm. he made it clear that the economy is not his area. Mm -hmm. He wants to offer some leadership, leadership, political leadership. But he is bringing a whiz kid to come and perform the economic wonders. Mm -hmm. They went in, they lost the elections. He said, still, he is the one I think can do the economic wonders. There's no other person. So he brought him again in 2012. They went in their loss. Mm -hmm. He said, still, with all the experience I've had from the uh, 60s through the 70s, all through till I became the flag bearer, mm -hmm. I cannot find any economic whiskey to deal with the economic situation. Mm -hmm. And so he brought him again. Yeah. And he himself took center stage of speaking to the areas of what the economy, the economy right talking about how inflation going high was bad talking about how exchange rates mm. no matter what you try to hide the fundamentals when they are weak when the fundamentals are weak the exchange rate will expose, will expose you. you no matter and that that is the simple thing that you can no matter what you do once your fundamental economic fundamentals are weak, the exchange rate will show. Mm -hmm. He also talked about taxation and that you cannot tax yourself to develop mm -hmm. and that it doesn't work anywhere and that they were going to focus more on growth and less of what? Taxation. Mm -hmm. He said the debt to GDP was too high at less than, that, right about 54 or so percent to the GDP, he considered it too high, mm -hmm. and that something must be done to bring that down. Deficit mm. of just about six percent was bad. So this was his position, right? And that all these leads to what unemployment, and that unemployment was bad. At the time they were taking over, unemployment was less than nine percent then you take over and the economy is thrust into your hands mm -hmm. and in less than 100 days less than 100 days when the vice president now the flag bearer addressed Ghanaians, he celebrated among others the stabilization of the city and said they have actually arrested the dollar, mm -hmm. locked it up, and handed over the, the key, key to the IGP in less than 100 days. Meaning that he's, he's telling us that he's proven that he's the economic whiz kid. Mm. But we all knew that that performance within 100 days could not have been associated to the, the new administration. But he claimed it. Mm -hmm. That is what Dr. Baumia is good at. Claiming everything good that even he had no hand in his initiation. 
But every other thing that he has a hand in, running away from it. That's a bad leader. Mm. He has exhibited clear signs of a bad leader, except that they have been able to what? Rebrand them. Like he's saying, we have to rebrand. You see, that, that word is still running through. And from, may he so rest in perfect peace, Jake Otanka Obichebilante, one great uh, 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 manager and advertiser. Yeah. From his time, all through the Obosi size and the rest, mm -hmm. all they know how to do is how to package a very bad material and sell to you, and you will get home only to realize that you have been so rags. Mm. They are good at branding and rebranding and selling such things to you. So they branded them so well. Right. <clears throat> now the reality dawns, and the growth figures are poor. Mm -hmm. Debt to GDP over 100%. Mm -hmm. Our national debt that they inherited at 120 billion, they, they even claim 122 because they were taking the figures, not the dead date of the handing over, but they were adding almost another month to do their calculation. So let's even accept 122 billion. Mm -hmm. Now it is 600 billion. That is your debt. <laughs> Unemployment is 14%. <laughs> from less than 9% is 14%. Youth unemployment is 42%. Mm. So Kofi, what, what point are you driving at So here? I am driving <laughs> at the point that this mm -hmm. is the man mm -hmm. who the small area that he was sold to us, that that is his area, which is the economy. Expert, which is the economy. Mm -hmm. He has not been able to manage just that economy, that small area. Being president includes managing the economy mm -hmm. and many other things. So if the small area that you have been given, for which you were made a chair, that all this while, when things were, were, were a bit okay, based on positive decisions of previous administration mm -hmm. and some other external factors that favored you, including having access to three oil fields, revenues from three oil fields. Our revenue from oils rose from just $218 million to $6 billion. When NDC was there, the highest was $218 million from one oil, uh, oil field. Mm -hmm. When we worked and then added the other two and it became available once they were in charge, all revenues alone have risen to six billion dollars. Mm. You have all this, and the debt has gone to the level that it has it has gone to. But when earlier things were going well, as predicted by Economic and Intelligence Unit in 2016, when they released their report mm -hmm. and said that they predicted that the MPP will win the 2016 elections. They also predicted that the economy was going to do well in the next two years, not based on mm. the performance of whichever party that will win that elections, but actions that were taken prior to that, 2014, 2015, 2016, actions were going to bear fruit. EIU, in their report for 2016, said so when they predicted the victory for the mm. MPP. At that time, I disagreed with them when they predicted that victory. Right. But it came to pass. Mm -hmm. The economic growth, they took the credit for. But even before COVID came, our economy was already going down. But at the time, it was doing well. And the senior minister, Yao Safumafo, was celebrating and mentioned Dr. Baumia as a chair of economic management team mm -hmm. who behaves like an activist economic management here was so available he sat there and was nodding his head in admiration he was there mm. when things went bad right as a bad leader as he was now he's trying to run away from economy and go and claim digitalization 
and many other, even including some things that started from President Kufo's time, 